Good afternoon, friends. Myself Dhananjay Mandlik, and for, uh, we are representing Sihagad Institute, Sihagad uh, Group of Institutes from Pune. Actually, I am going to represent uh, B School, and Varsha is going to represent Engineering College. Uh, let Let's have a brief introduction about Sihagad. What Sihagad is? Actually, Sihagad uh, Technical Education Society is established in 1993 by the leading of Professor M. N. Nowle and uh, Dr. Mrs. Sunanda Nowle in, uh, in 1993. Siagad is established in three uh, major uh, districts. That is, we have nine campuses in Pune, three campuses in Solapur, and two campuses in Mumbai. Right now, uh, we are providing the education from primary uh, P to P, even though playgroup to PhD actually. Uh, we have eight engineering colleges, 12 management institutes, and many more. Uh, right now, we have 45 student, uh, 45,000 students with us, and we have the affiliation of from the Pune University, Solapur University, Mumbai University, and number of authorities. Let's come to the point. Uh, Sihagad providing uh, the computer courses, just like as uh, Bachelor of Computer Science, Bachelor of Computer Application, Bachelor of Engineering, Master of Computer Application, Master of Computer Management, Master of Science, and Master of Engineering. Uh, I have syllabus, basically I have syllabus of all these courses. Uh, I'm just going to focus only on the uh, syllabus of MCM, that is Master in Computer Management. See, this one is the syllabus. While we are considering the evaluation pattern, Pune, uh, two, uh, the MCM is the two-year degree course, basically, uh, of 2200 marks where first class is a uh, first class and distinction is of uh, more than 1000 uh, 1540 and number of things are there then after every three year syllabus get revised as per uh, university uh, norms and we have teaching uh, sessions of one hours or uh, one and a half hours uh, while we are considering the syllabus of entire mcm we have mcm course in first year only first semester only uh, of 40 uh, hours lecture, uh, 40 lecture uh, session is there basically. Then while we are considering the evaluation pattern, uh, for entire courses in Pune University follows either year pattern or semester pattern. FYBSC and FYBCA we are following uh, 100 marks year pattern where 30 marks is internal and 70 marks are external. Then as per university norm, semester pattern of 50 marks are get followed by uh, B, F, BSc, BCA, and B having online 50 marks uh, examination, which is conducted by University of Pune. And for PG, we have 100 marks semester pattern, where 30 marks are internal and 70 marks are external. Minimum passing criteria is of 40 marks, and exams are conducted twice in a year, that is April or May, or October and November. I also have uh, sample question papers of MCM and MCA. Right now, I am just going to focus on while well, we are considering the question paper of Pune University. Actually, this one is the question paper for C programming, where first question is for output tracing, and other uh, questions are programming questions basically. Uh, there is no special weightage for uh, theoretical basically. While we are considering lab assessment, undergraduate lab assess assessments are designed by the uh, university authorities while uh, for the PG courses, uh, assignments are designed by the department itself. Now, uh, for engineering, Varsha is going to continue. Please, Varsha. Good afternoon to all. I am Varsha Patil, here to uh, represent the engineering college. Now, these are few of the subjects taught by me. Fundamentals of programming language, that is for uh, common for all the engineering branches, uh, and this is for first year engineering. Next is fundamentals of data structure, which consist of linear uh, linear data structures, then data structures and files, no, which consist of non-linear non data structures, database management systems, and soft skills. Next, uh, I'm going to focus about fundamentals of programming language, uh, that is for first year. Uh, the objectives of this FPL are to learn and acquire art of computer programming. 
then to know about some popular programming languages and how to choose a programming language for solving a problem using a computer and finally uh, to learn how to program in C language. The syllabus for FPL is, uh, these are divided into five chapters. First chapter is program planning concepts. It consists of algorithms, flowcharts and pseudo codes. Uh, it will consist of uh, all the logic, sequential logic, looping and all the things. How to use, uh, how to write down algorithms, flowcharts and pseudo code using this. Uh, then programming languages which consist of different types of languages uh, like uh, assembly languages, uh, machine languages and high level languages. Uh, it will consist of study of just introduction of all the programming languages. Next, third chapter will consist of program testing and debugging. Uh, fourth, fourth is about program doc documentation which consists of different manual syst system manual, user manual like on. Then fifth chapter is entirely, it will consist of C concepts, programming in C language. Uh, it consists of all the concepts of C, uh, right from uh, data types, all the uh, all the loopings, uh, control structures, functions, arrays and structure, uh, structure and the uh, union and all the things. Next exam scheme of FPL, uh, teaching scheme is uh, we are having only one lecture per week. Uh, additionally, we take extra lectures because it is not possible to cover in, uh, in that particular period. Then practicals, we are having two hours per week practicals. Next examination scheme. Uh, in, a, in the Pune University, we are having 50 marks online exam for this uh, FPL and which consists of 50 multiple choice. It will be true online exam conducted by the University of Pune. Next, evaluation pattern in case of term work. If term work is there for, for a particular subject, it will be either 50 marks or 25 marks. Then we are considering the points for this term work uh, pro in the progressive assessment sheet. We are considering these points, attendance, then performance of the students, whether that student has performed that experiment and then next understanding of the students about that assignment and timely submission. That means journals, whether that student is timely, uh, timely submitting the journal. We are considering these points while evaluating to the students, while giving the term work marks. Next sample, these are the sample lab assignments which are assigned by the uh, Pune University. Uh, these are simple uh, C programming assignments, for example, uh, accept five numbers and so that means uh, sort it in ascending order. Next, these are few sample assignments, then string, accept the string, find out the total number of, uh, number of characters of the string, then total number of vowels, then to reverse, write a program to reverse the digits of a given number. These are some simple uh, C programs which are included by Pune University. There are total 15 assignments. Next textbook, uh, textbooks given, uh, Pradeep Sinha and Priti Sinha, Computer Fundamentals. Next, Forozan, Computer Science. Uh, reference, few of the reference books, Karnigan and Ricci, the pro C programming language. These are few of the books that you have to use. Then uh, sample questions from the question paper. As it is online exam, it is multiple choice, which is co which consists of 50 marks. Then these are, uh, these are the sample questions from the uh, question paper. Next, uh, lab infrastructure. We are having lab. Uh, the batch size will be uh, 20 students. Uh, the class is divided. The class is divided into uh, three batches, which consist of 60 students uh, per batch, 20 students. Then uh, desktop PCs will be available, 24 number per lab. Then licensed OS software installed. Next, internet facility with data rate 100 Mbps. And area of the lab is 101 square meter. Thank you and you can visit our site www.cnga.edu. One quick question. Uh, the papers of Pune University, that online quiz papers of past years, are they available and accessible? Uh, these are not available. Means even then on the university side, these papers are not available because the true online exam is there. No? So the papers no, no, are not... I'm talking about past years exam. Exam to be conducted, obviously, paper will not Sir, be actually, uh, this is the set of, I uh, mean, uh, more questions, hundreds of questions will be there, and to each student, it is not like that same questions will be asked. Randomly, the questions will be generated by the software, provided by the... Uh, not generated, uh, selected. Yeah, yeah, selected by the software. Huh. So, uh, these questions, few, few of the questions we are available, means... A sample. 
Yeah, these but are sample questions. How many? I mean, are there about 500 questions available? Yeah, we are having 500 questions available right now. Uh, is, is there a soft copy available? Yeah, soft copy is available. I will appreciate if you can leave that soft copy here. Okay, fine. And also, we would like to share those 500 questions with all of us. So actually, this is a good starting point, you know. Uh, some of us... Those are multiple choice questions. Uh, right. I will give it to all of you. Right, right. Thank you.